Hey, what's up? This is Don Reviews, and um, today I'm going to be reviewing the Motorola Moto G first generation. I'll be testing out this phone, and uh, we'll see how it performs. This is a 4.5-inch 720p HP display with a Corning Gorilla front glass. The colors on this phone are extremely bright and vivid, and honestly, I can hardly see any visible pixels. I gotta say, with the magnifying glass, it has about the same visible pixels as the iPhone 5S with the retina display. That's pretty amazing for this phone. On the front of the phone, we got the 1.3 megapixel front camera. We also have our notification light, earpiece, and of course the sensors. We have the 3.5 millimeters head jack, the microphone, power and volume up button, speakers, 5 megapixel camera, flash, and of course the micro USB slot. On the back of this device, there's this very soft material that is also removable. But this is a built-in non-removable 2070 milliamp battery. This is the 8 gigabyte version connected with Verizon, which means to activate my line, I will have to call. So this phone does not have a SIM card slot, neither a micro SD slot as well. I ran a benchmark using Quadrant Standard Edition, and it gave me a score of 10,558. Compared to my Galaxy S5 that was 22,350, this phone still did a great job, plus being a less expensive phone, but it still outperformed all the other devices down below. The web browsing on this device did a great job, scrolling each page and gave me no problem. The typing was pretty smooth as well, had no trouble in typing each keys. Now here are my camera results with both plain 720p footage. Okay now this is the front facing camera of the phone using the same mic as well. As you can see here from the quality. Okay I'm using the back facing camera and I'm using the mic. This is the quality of the video. Playing back HD videos, this phone did an excellent job with great quality videos, including the speakers. Now I tested out three different types of intense games. The first with being a low usage, very calm type of gameplay, and of course it gave me no types of problems. I stepped it up a notch and did the Subway Surfer gameplay. This game gave me the same results, it played it smooth as the first one. Now finally, one of the reasons why I use this phone is for playing Modern Combat 3 with my Joker controller. Having this phone costing around $240, this is probably one of the best gaming devices to play this type of game with, especially with the price. This game gave me no types of lag, even in a busy game round. Playing this game for more than an hour still gave me the same smooth results. I would get 3 to 4 hours of gameplay, starting off with a full battery charge. Compared to other $20 to $40 Android phones, this Moto G first generation outperforms most of them. With the battery having 2070 milliamps, it will last around 18 to 24 hours of talk time. And some of the main features are Bluetooth lasting around 10 hours and 40 minutes, 3D games 3 hours and 29 minutes, online videos 5 hours and 11 minutes, and of course video recording will give you around 3 hours and 38 minutes. Overall, this phone did an excellent job. It did a great job performing every task I gave it. Plus, ranging between $20 or $40, this has so much to offer. I made up my mind of keeping the phone for online gaming or if I have family or friends coming over. This will be one of the devices I can let them borrow so that we could play in a group. Plus, with being in a low budget as well. Well, guys, uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.